After programs, we have lunch. The salad bar is my favorite part because they have just about everything you could possibly want in a salad, and then some. And everything is great because a lot of it comes from the garden. You wouldn't believe what kind of appetite you can work up around here. When it comes to food, the camp rule is you can take as much as you want as long as you eat everything you take. There's always stuff to do around here. They actually encourage us to help out with projects all the time. Today, Kent and I went around the barn and spent a little time checking out the fence. There were a couple spots that we needed to fix up so the horses wouldn't get away. I felt like I was kind of giving something back to the camp. Hit them up, move them out. On my third day at camp, we went on a three-day pack trip on horseback. First, we loaded up all our gear, then Jesse took us down the trail. We rode across the river, right above the swimming hole. Have fun so far? Yes, definitely. We'll see you in two days. <laughs> I felt like I was a pioneer in the Wild West. We spent the first night at Emily's. That's where Kent's grandfather, Grover, started his homestead back in 1890. So this is kind of where the Bar 717 really started. It's so cool here. We spend the night outside under the stars. And the next day, Jen taught us how to clean the horse's hooves out. What a great time. The food was great, and the company was even better. Another thing I just wanted to say that I really like about the horse homestead and, horse homestead and just this camp in general is that they let you be really independent, and you don't have to do everything in a group, and you don't have to walk in a line or have, like, the counselors order you around. You can, like, think for yourself and... Go where, not really wherever you want, but pretty much just like be really independent in yourself. And I went on my first overnight to Deer Pond last night. We hiked about a mile out of camp and spent the night under the stars. I didn't miss having a tent at all. We made a big campfire, ate some s'mores, and hung out. Everybody in camp goes on an overnight at least once. Next time, I'm going to go on one of the riding overnights. You ride horses to the old homestead and spend the night. That sounds really cool. Today for rest hour, I played cards with Dave on the platform. Then we took a small hike to the swimming hole. It's the one place we go just about every day. It looks like a pool filled with the coolest, clearest water you've ever seen. And it's refreshing on a hot summer day. It's actually on the Hayfork River. They have a great diving board and these giant inner tubes to play on. On one side of the river, there are these rocks you can hang out on. And on the other side, there's a great sandy beach. After swimming yesterday, I took a long shower. We had to get extra clean because Saturday was extra special. First, there was a big picnic. They had an awesome bluegrass band, and boy, they could play. Lots of folks from the nearby towns came. There was great food for everyone. There's also a dance every Saturday, but this Saturday was a little special because of the picnic. We started out with the hokey pokey, and then worked our way up to some line dances. It was pretty funny to watch everybody try and follow the counselors. I got turned around so many times, I can't begin to tell you how crazy I must have looked. Sunday mornings are a little different at the Bar 717. First of all, we get to sleep in a little later. Second of all, we get to make our own pancakes. There is this great grill with three sides, and we can make as many pancakes and eggs as we want as long as we eat it all. And believe me, we do.
Even though there was a full moon tonight, I still felt like I was sitting under an umbrella of stars. I could see all the different constellations, and you could even make out the Milky Way. I'd never seen it that clearly before. We always have a big campfire after the dance, but this one felt different. I thought about all the friends I met here and all the things I got to do. I told Hannah, David, and Melinda that I'd write to them, and I made them promise they would write back. Next summer will be my first as a counselor in training. I wish it were tomorrow. Fourteen summers of my life I've spent here, over half the summers of my life. I think that's what separates this camp, is it, for a lot of people. After a couple summers, it's not just a camp anymore. It's, it's, it's a very personal place. It's funny. There are so many people who have come here for years, and they keep coming back. Now I guess I can see why. It's really hard to put everything into words, but I really feel like I'm a part of a great big family. This has been a summer that I'll never forget. Thanks, Mom and Dad. See you in a couple days. Love, Carlin.